Konnichiwa minasan, I am currently in Kyoto. In this video I am going to explore different shrines and temples. The first shrine that we are going to visit is Kitano Tenmangu Shrine. The Kitano Tenmangu Shrine is a shrine built in the northwest section of Kyoto over thousand years ago. The shrine is the very first shrine in Japanese history where an actual person was enshrined as a deity. He is known as the god of agriculture, god of honesty and sincerity, god of dispelling false accusations, god of performing arts, and god of academics. Next is the Hirano Shrine. Hirano Shrine is an old shrine that was moved from Nara Prefecture, known as Yamato at the time, when the capital was transferred from Nara to Kyoto. The temple ground have about 400 cheddar trees across roughly 60 species, which makes the shrine a popular spot in spring for nighttime cherry blossom viewing and the cherry blossom festival. The enshrined god here is Kudo no Kami, who is the god of where the fire is in the kitchen. Next is the Wara Tenjingu. Konohana Sakuya Hime no Mikoto, the enshrined deity of Wara Tenjingu, is worshipped as a guardian deity for safe childbirth. There is a legend that if the straw amulet for safe delivery has a flower, it will give birth to a boy, and if not, it will be birth to a girl. Next is maybe the most famous icon of Kyoto, Kinkakuji, the Golden Temple. The building's first purpose was to serve the retiring shogun, Ashikaga Yoshimitsu, as a residence. The gold leaf adored building was converted into a Zen temple shortly after his death. In an event that was later fictionalized by the reowned author Yukio Mishima, a 21 year old monk burned Kinkakuji Temple down in 1950. The temple was rebuilt in 1955 and continues to function as a storehouse of sacred relics. So this is Nishi Hongaji Temple. Nishi Hongaji Temple is a large temple compound located northwest of Kyoto Station with many beautiful buildings of historical and architectural significance. It is one of two head temples of the Jodo Shinshu sect of Buddhism in Kyoto. Both of these temples are called Honganji and so are distinguished by their location. Nishi Honganji uh, being the western temple where I'm now and Higashi Honganji being the Eastern Temple. Jodo Shinshu is the most mainstream and common form of Buddhism in Japan. So a visit to either temple will give you a great insight into contemporary Japanese religious belief. It's so quiet here, there's basically no one here. And this temple is beautiful, but still there's no tourists here compared to Kinkakuji where everyone goes. But this one is just by Kyoto Station, it's very close, it's very central. I'm gonna take the bus back to my hotel and relax a little bit. So as you can tell, I'm at the hotel room. I'm staying at the Prince Smart Inn here in Kyoto Center. 
Hello, this is Vicky from the future and this is while I am editing this video. I just want to summarize what I'm talking about in this clip because I'm ranting way too much. So at this point I am really tired. It's my second day out in the sun all day, first in Kobe and then in Kyoto. So I just needed to rest some at the hotel room. I decided to go out for some yakiniku and then visit one more shrine after that. If you watched my previous video, you know that I had some problems with my living situation. I couldn't stay at the hostel in Osaka any longer and had to find a new place to stay. Luckily for me, my wonderful husband Jimmy decided to pay for my hotel, so I actually ended up staying five nights in Takamatsu Shikoku. And that is because my next place will be a nature resort in Shimonto Shikoku. So it will be not that far for me to travel. So yeah, everything worked out. Now back to the video. I am back in the hotel. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a shrine or a temple that you recommend I try to visit, please write it down below. And I will see you in the next video. Matane!